Hey guys, my name is Andrew and I currently study at Arizona State University as a developmental biology major to ultimately become a genetic engineer. I was going to stream today but I came across something when I woke up that I feel I need to share. If you go to ASU or know anyone that goes, this is very important. Brian Gogan, a well-renowned professor at ASU, was sent Sorry, sent out the following email yesterday. We will read it through. Students, for the past few years, the economics department has been enforcing two policies I believe to be unethical, and I feel obligated to disclose them to you. In order to convince Cengage to give the provost a large monetary grant, the department agreed to require economics 211 and 2112 students use MindTap. A Cengage product. The deal requires students to pay just to turn in their homework. Instructors who were making assignments available on Blackboard slash Canvas have been forced to move those same assignments behind the MindTap paywall to ensure students must pay Cengage to pass the class. Students are being saddled with unnecessary costs to provost so they can fund the department project. The second policy was put in place to ensure that Povost's project was made to look good. All Economics 211, 212, and 221 courses were required to prevent at least 30% of the students from passing the class. We were told that we needed to set a baseline against which Provost project could be compared. For many instructors, this meant setting students up to fail so it could seem like Provost swooped in and fixed a problem that didn't even exist. I found both of these policies to be highly unethical and said to Dean Hillman, in response, the economics department has decided to let me go. I am hoping all of you can continue to fight against this corruption. I hope you will do two things. One, send an email to President Crow and Dean Hillman asking them to take action against these policies and ensure that this does not happen again. Your email addresses are blah, 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 blah. You can send a pre-filled email with this link. I'll try to include that link in the video description. Forward this email to other students who are not majoring in economics, but who are taking or are taking these courses. You can also send them to this website. And we're I have sent out this, uh, this email to several people um, in the economics department. However, I'm also making this video because um, I feel this will do a lot more. It may not seem like much, but I promise you that if you send an email now, it will spur real action on this issue. Sincerely, Brian Gogan, Clinical Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, Arizona State University. So, are these claims true? The first one seems to be so. We are forced to use many shabby products to pass our classes. I have not taken M economics myself, but have taken many chemistry courses. These all required me to use Pearson products. Pearson is absolute garbage. To be completely honest, Cengage seems holy in comparison. It seems odd that all my chemistry classes required this product, even though it didn't even work properly. And a lot of the professors understood that. Needless to say, this is wrong. I end up paying hundreds of dollars for course material that barely works, much less help me learn what I need to for the class. It didn't seem like a stretch to me that these products have deals with ASU, especially, and here is some evidence, when they can table right in departments that only allow sponsors of the university to table. Yes, they do that. I have seen Pearson do this. And now, to be honest, I have only personally seen Cengage table at public venue locations on ASU property. Is ASU failing students to push an agenda? Wouldn't be out of the ordinary. I have taken many weed out classes. They are nightmares. I have, on the other hand, taken classes where the professors are told to pass the students off by Michael Crow. Michael Crow. The president of ASU. Neither of these practices are uncommon at Arizona State University. And this is not just a problem in the economics department, as much as I would love to say it is. One more piece of evidence that ASU does not care about teaching its students comes from what I have heard 
for my good friends in the blank department. I am leaving the department name out as I don't want the professors in trouble. One in particular always shows me the criteria for judging the classes. It never even mentions learning. The professor is pretty stinking mad about this because they try to make their class as good as it can be, but the problem is they are limited by the university. All the university cares about is research. That's all the class success is measured off of in this department. Research, aka patents, which equals money. As if the billions coming in from students' tuition wasn't enough. I could go on for hours because I know so many professors, but let's move on. I do know not I sorry. I do not know for sure if Brian was fired for speaking up. However, based on students' testimonies on Reddit, he seems like a pretty great guy. In addition, if you look to his great my professor ratings older than yesterday when this all started, he has a rating of around 4.0, which is really stinking high, especially since one of the classes he teaches is described by him as a boring and difficult online class. In addition to the evidence we've seen earlier about ASU not really caring about teaching his students, I know that ASU does not fire teachers over their ability to teach classes. Also, I've had professors that fail half their students on the second exam. They're still here, despite countless complaints and even several academic grievances, so they're, they're actually doing real violations here. And I have no doubt that they're allowed to stay because they do research. For concrete evidence on all this, we will need to wait to see what Dr. Gogan shares with the press. Based off mine and other students' experiences, though, these claims seem completely reasonable, consistent, and not exclusive to the economics department. If these claims are true, it is disgusting and completely unethical. You cannot fail students to make a product seem better. This is manipulating the market, and you're doing this in the economics department. It's so ironic. While I don't consider forcing us to use products unethical, it is certainly not conducive to our success, and it is a pretty jerk move. If anyone has evidence relating to this case, please feel free to share it. And if you know anyone at ASU, or at ASU and know someone in economics, please share this video. It's the only way the word will get out. This university belongs to us, not to companies like Cengage. Thank you very much.